So hi everyone, in our last video, we were able to create an IoT hub, we were also able to create an IoT device in the IoT hub, we were also able to explore the circuit schematic of DHT and ESP32, we were also able to explore the code needed to, you know, connect your ESP32 into the IoT hub of the Azure cloud. In today's video, we are going straight forward to learn how can we visualize this data in JSON format in IoT hub. We are going to be using CLI and CLI has so many commands. Thanks to IoT uh, team of, you know, Microsoft, they have redone a lot of work. They have given us so many commands, serious documentation. I'm going to provide this link. You can learn more about this. We are going to be using only one single command to visualize our data. So let's dive into this. I first connect my device into the power. I'm just using my laptop as a power. Don't be scared. After that, let me just open a, a terminal window, just a serial monitor, sorry, to make sure that our device is transmitting. Okay. Yeah, confirmations and finished. Uh -huh. So it's transmitting perfectly. And the only way to be sure of this, if it's real time data, I will blow some warm moist air into my DHT. <sighs> I expect temperature to rise and also humidity to rise. So the temperature has risen from 22 to 23 degrees Celsius and also the humidity to 95 degrees Celsius, sorry, to 95 value. So from there, navigate into Azure Cloud, it's here, into the resource group. After that, just in your resource group, you might be having so many resources. So that's why I said just navigate into the resource group you create and under the, your resource, click the IoT hub you already created in there. So take some seconds to launch. So again, please, as you wait for it to launch, remember to click the link. If you want to explore more of the CLI commands, this is free content from Microsoft. You can, you know, explore more and yeah, so I am a fan of Azure. And, you know, I learn a lot. I have done a lot with it, some serious projects. And you can also explore more. Yeah, that's it. So from there, just click IoT Hub. You create end. After creating IoT Hub, after clicking the IoT Hub, we want to launch our CLI. Our CLI, you can launch it from any, any position, but just to... The reason as to why I just end to follow this is so that you can see the overview of your IoT hub. So today I have used up to, this is more of the summary, up to 322 messages. Remember this is a free tier and we have free tier, we have up to 8,000 messages for one device. So that means we have also slot for more messages. So after that, you just need to launch your CLI. And please write this command here. This one here. So what this one does, it's more of goes into the the name of your IoT hub and the name of your device. Remember, this is not the name of the device in the code. Some students make that mistake. So this is not the name here. Is the name you called out your device. If you forgot how you did it, please remember to review this video how to create an IoT hub and IoT hub device in Azure Cloud. It's straightforward. After that, just click enter. It takes some few seconds to, to connect and it's done. So it will this device will be sending real-time data on cloud and it will be sending the number of the message and the temperature and humidity in real time. To prove that to you, let me launch my serial monitor. So here we have 85, 23. So this 23, 85. So we have again 22.799, 22.799, 84. So this real-time data being sent from my ESP32 dev board into the IoT hub of the Azure cloud. Stay tuned. Please remember to like, subscribe. If you have any comment, come into this website here. Leave your comment down here. I am going to be enable the comment. You can also connect with me on Twitter, and also you can connect on, you know, on the, on you can connect on the uh, YouTube, and yeah, thank you so much. Stay tuned.